Hello guys. Boys, see what's this right here? Okay, well I'm gonna lie, sir. Sorry ladies. Trying to get back to y'all, but it seems like it's been one of them days for your girl. Hold up. Wait a minute. Oh, y'all, today's been one of them days. So... Oh, uh, Miss Amanda, that is totally different. And what's bad is it's two to one. And I'm calling BS. You know what I mean? I'm asking. I want to see cameras. They got cameras. I'm going to see cameras regardless. Uh, I've asked. Uh, I spoke with the lady. And... Apparently, she didn't use them words. And, okay, the situation we had was, mind you, I didn't find out until Sunday. So, we're sitting down eating, and, no, it wasn't. It was Sunday, uh, Saturday. Saturday, sorry, not Sunday. It was Saturday. And, mind you, this happened on a Thursday. I did not hear about it. But the kids, if y'all remember Friday, they didn't want to go to school. So I'm like, okay, what's going on? You know what I mean? Like, is they making sense? They asked Saturday, do they have to go to school Monday? I was like, yeah, you got to go to school. So anyways, come to find out. Now, this is the first story, and then I'll give you the second story. The first story is Junior was throwing paper with a boy. They were standing back away from the trash can. And I guess like shooting it like it's a ball into the trash can. I don't know. I wasn't there. The first two stories I got was Junior and another little boy was throwing paper into a trash can. <coughs> Neve and her friend were sitting at the other table. So, one of the, one of the teachers in the after school program went up to the kid, the boys, and told the other little boy that now you don't want to be stupid like Junior, do you, and get yourself in trouble. So at that time, Nevea heard her call Junior stupid. So Nevea said underneath her breath, I guess, was still loud enough for the lady to hear what was stupid. You know what I mean? Like, what's stupid? So the lady was walking by, mind you, these two kids, the girls are sitting at the table. And the teacher walks by Navea, then turns around and says, Navea, if you got something to say, then why don't you go ahead and say it to my face instead of behind my back? Navea said, I didn't say nothing. Only thing I said is what's stupid. The lady gets in Navea's face and tells her, if you got a problem with what I said to your brother, what you going to do about it? Wait a minute. Hold up, screw. What are you talking about? So, apparently, she explained to Nevaeh that what that what Junior is doing is stupid. And the other little boy doesn't need to get in trouble like Junior. Okay. So, mind you, Mr. Perry's sitting there. His face is blunt red. He's looking at me like, Mom, and I, me, I'm my blood is boiling because my thing, first of all, you're getting in her face, she's nine years old, for sticking up for her brother. My thing is, you grown. What are you going to do? Let's say Nevaeh just decides, instead of saying, I didn't say anything, I just asked you what was stupid because you called my brother stupid. <coughs> Let's say Nevaeh decides, because she don't like the lady in her face, it's in the after school program, that Nevaeh hauls off and hits the lady. So you're telling me that a 20-year-old or however old she is, is going to fight a nine-year-old? Is that? I mean, I'm not understanding what was 
First of all, this is my thing. Same thing I just explained to them. We all know how to handle ourselves. I know that being in an after school program, you know, you signed up for an after school program. It's got kids a lot. You know what I mean? It's a lot. I understand that. I got three. It's a lot. But my phone. But first of all, you could have walked up to the boys and said, hey, boys, we don't throw. We don't sit at the table and throw trash in the trash can. If that was the problem. You didn't have to call Junior stupid, first of all. We could have used a whole nother word. Second of all, if you seen, I mean, me personally, Nevaeh stuck up for her brother. Don't call her brother stupid. It offended her. You could have said, I, I mean, me personally, I don't even know how. I, I don't understand how you turn around and you knew that it offended her. You heard what she said, but you're going to tell her that, if she's got something to say, to say it to your face. What? How old are we now? Are we grown-ups? Or are we kids? Okay, let's just say that instead of Nevaeh saying, I didn't say anything. I just said that what is stupid about my brother. And you tell her what she going to do about it. In her face. Now, we ain't talking about across the room. We're talking about what you're going to do about it. You're grown. There's other ways to handle this situation. Okay, that's my point. The fourth point I'm about to make, just like I explained to the lady up there, is she nine years old. She ain't going to do nothing about it. But her mama's 33, and I will handle it. So with that being said, ask me what the problem is. The problem is you call my son stupid. Now, that's the story I got from both of my kids. Okay, so I get out the car. Guess who's pulling up? Teacher of the year. I said, hey... Can you explain to me what happened Thursday? Because not only did I not get a, a phone call, I didn't get a written letter. What are you talking about? Can you explain to me what happened between you, my son, and my daughter? Miss Perry, I don't know what you're talking about. Did you call my son stupid? Oh, no, ma'am. I would not use those words. I say, did you get in my daughter's face and ask her if she, if she had something to say to you to say it in your face? Did you get in my daughter's face? No, ma'am. I said, well, can we walk in here and get both of my children? Because somewhere, somehow, I'm going to hear both sides at the same time. Let's all get together. So, we go in there and we get them all. I said, now explain to me what happened. The lady says she did not say that. My kids are both standing there saying, yes, you, y'all know Junior. Junior going, yes, you did. You called me stupid. I said, well, did you get in Nevaeh's face and ask her if she had a problem with it? Did you ask her if she had something to say to say it to your face? Junior's like, yes, she did, Mom. Hi. The lady can't say yes or no. So the other teacher's like, okay, well, we can pull the cameras. But, I mean, I don't see why. I said, my thing is I paid almost $400 for this after school program. And I pick my kids up. The school gets out at 3.15. I'm there to pick them up at 3.30 because I get on my truck by 5. So we're literally there about 15 minutes in the after school program for 300, almost 400 bucks a month. So I'm like, okay. <clears throat> First of all, my kids are, go to, are scared to go to the after school program. They did not want to go today, but I was going to pick them up because I wanted to figure out the story. But until I can uh, see a camera... I'm not leaving my kids. I said, because me personally, there's three of y'all. There's all these after school uh, things. Apparently, another teacher seen it. And not once did anybody hear about it. I said, I understand the kids get on your nerves. I do. But there's ways to speak to a child. Like I told her, I ain't the best either. So I lose my cool. If you lost your cool, I can understand that. But I can't stand a liar. So I'm going to ask you again, how did it go? No, ma'am. I wouldn't do that. I said, okay, so we need to see a camera. I said, because me personally, as a mother, I'm taking my kids aside. You know, that's me. I am, gonna, I am going to accept my kids' answer because they said it in your face. They didn't say it behind your back. Second of all, not only did I didn't hear about it, but neither did the lady in charge. 
Like I told her not being mean, is it because you get these kids alone and you think you can be mean to them because nobody's around? I told her, I'm not, I don't leave my kids with nobody. And I'd be damn, I leave them here with you for you to act like you, like I told her, what are you going to do to a nine year old? Even if you don't like my daughter, what you going to do? You 30, are you going to fight a nine year old? I said, so what was the point of getting her face and beating your chest at her? Because at the end of the day, she's nine. I said, and somewhere, somehow, if my daughter makes you that upset by her speaking her mind about you not calling her brother stupid, maybe you shouldn't walk away as a grown-up. I said, because as far as asking her what she going to do in her face, like I told her, if it was me, just like I advised her to do, she should have slapped the shit out of you, plain and simple. And then we would have seen what you would have done because it is ignorant to ask a child what you going to do about it when at the end of the day, you're supposed to be the grown-up. No, you're being mean to these kids and nobody's around so nobody can tell you anything. Well, you're not going to be mean to my kids. I'm sorry. It's not worth it. I'll go pick my kids up at 315. I will keep my $400 and we'll be done with it. But what you're not going to do is do my kids like this. Because there's no way they both lying and they lying in your face. And you sitting over there. She doing her hands like this. She nervous in a church in the mouth. It's, it's too much. A mouse and a show Harry, if you ever want to say it. The lady tells me, well, we can watch cameras and I will get back to you. I said, this is the problem, though. All year long. All year long. Kids are, kids are, you know, they hitting each other. They being mean to each other. Y'all just keep going. How much more are we sweeping underneath the rug at the school district? I said, and it's funny to me because I backed up a lot this year and let my kids handle a lot of their own situations until it gets out of hand. And only thing y'all keep telling me is the same BS. So let me ask you, if something was to happen to my daughter or my son, are y'all going to fix that? Are y'all going to help them? Well, ma'am, I don't think I said you, if you did not even know what was going on Thursday, how are you going to protect them for the rest of the year? No. Michelle, she she could not. She was looking at the floor. And then she looked at the van. She said, she kept saying, maybe I could have used different words. Maybe if I offended you, you should have just came and told me that, hey, you know, this hurt my feelings. But I didn't know it got like that bad. Mommy. How do you not know if she told you what is what is stupid about him? And then... You told her she got something to say, said in your face and not behind your back. <clears throat> so you knew at that moment it offended her. Where am I getting it wrong, guys? I'm not. I'm not. Under, here, look, let's hope this lady, uh, uh, Miss Nancy, the hell up out of my life. Goodbye. Please don't come back. <coughs> Junior, y'all can put it up. And then I get home. Then I get home. Take them, bring my kids home. Put up all my ice cream. And Miss Nevea. Oh, I'm going to tell them. I gotta tell them about my day. See, so y'all can see how shitty my day has been. I get home, and now I got to throw away everything in my deep freezer. Yeah, everything. Because Nevaeh decides that she's going to make Play-Doh without telling me. See all the, the thing? And my deep freezer was not closed. So everything in here has to be thrown away, including the food. All my food is... It's all... Defrosted. Everything in here is no good. Everything has to be thrown away. So, not only did I lose products, products today. Not only did I lose products today. But I also lose my mind. Ms. Jen, I've asked to see the cameras. They're going to investigate and then we're going to see the cameras. So, my thing is, Mr. Perry's like, we get home and both of the kids are telling Mr. Perry 
Dad, she's lying. She's lying. Mr. Perry's like, well, babe, at least you handled yourself because I thought I was going to have to come up there. And I was like, you know, my thing is I want to hear everybody's sides of the story. You know what I mean? Um, Miss Kim said, don't let people get to you that bad. Evidently, they have many. I don't know. It keeps freezing. I don't know. Hold up. Okay, is the internet better? Mm -hmm. It really has been one of these days. So, Junior went on his field trip. You want to tell him about your field trip? You got to pet a shark. You got to pet a shark? Mm -hmm. It felt weird. It did? Mm -hmm. And the um, stingers are gooey. Did you have fun, though? Mm -hmm. Then you went by yourself like a big boy? Did you get to spend your ten dollars mommy gave you? I did. I'll show y'all. So, I'm gonna wait for cameras, but I am not leaving my kids in the after school program. I'm sorry, like I explained to her is I stand behind my children. I believe my children. I'm not one of the moms that are gonna take just another lady's uh opinion or answers just because, oh, you're a teacher. I don't give a shit if you're a doctor. If my kid said you did it, you did it. The problem is, what are you going to do about it? These are my kids. You're going to respect my children, and you are not going to be mean to my children when I'm not there. I bought this. I put a juice in here. You put juice in there? Mm -hmm. Johnny won't let me play the Xbox. Ms. Dola says cool. she likes your haircut. Thank you. Mama. What? I was playing the Xbox first, but Johnny took it. But they had fun, so now I gotta figure out. For one, I gotta clean out my freezer. For two, I'm waiting. It's 418. I'm waiting for a call back from somebody. It's one of them days, ladies. It's one of them days. It is so bad. Yo, I can't stop scratching my head. Miss Lisa, I'm pretty sure they're gonna they're gonna cover it. But my thing is, if you are letting this lady volunteer in the and I'm not saying nothing bad about the lady. I don't know the lady. But I I believe my kids. And at the end of the day, you cannot handle these kids. So you you are getting paid to watch children that you do not like. So therefore, maybe you need to find another career. That's all I'm saying because, like I explained to her, my boiling point is up to here with the school itself. This right here don't do nothing but put the, the, the cherry on top of it. Like, no, I want to see them cameras. And if not, then I'm going to figure out another way. I'm going to go to the superintendent board. Like, no, I am sick of hiding shit underneath the rug for y'all. Like, no, it's, it's out of hand. Miss Jerry, I did. And I explained to her that from now, because Nabea does have a bad problem of opening things and walking away. I know. Uh, she has a bad problem with it. And this time it costs mom. So, uh, I'm just over it. I'm really over it. So, that's how today went. So, I know kids are great, but not in front of the person accused. Well, this is my thing. This is how I, this is how I see it. It'll be different if my kids tell me, hey, mom. That lady's being mean to me, but then I put my kids in front of you, and my kids are like, oh, no, no, she's not. That means my kids are lying. You know what I mean? I, I've been knowing my kids nine, eight, and seven years. So if I put my kids in front of you, and my kids tell me the same story that they've been telling me, that you mean as hell to my kids, that you disrespected my kids, I'm going to believe my kids, because why are they going to stand there and lie? Why, they, why didn't you say anything? Because if somebody's lying on me, I'm going to be like, hey, wait a minute, little girl. I did not say all that. Let's get it right. This is how I said it, and this is what I said. I'm not going to stand there as a grown-up and let no two little kids lie on me. 
But you ain't saying nothing. Then you want to apologize and tell my daughter, maybe you said some, maybe you should have changed some words. Maybe you should have used a different tone and maybe we should have handled it a different way. That tells me you're not standing up for yourself, honey. Your ass is caught. Mama. So no, no. Let's see them cameras and let's see who's lying. I mean, black and white don't lie. So let me see the cameras myself and then we can figure out who said what and when, when, where. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You can tell when kids lie. Kids give it away and I'd stand up for those. The teacher, I, that's y'all, you know your kids. I know when my kids are telling a damn lie. Like yesterday, and the man was like, when all this happened with my fridge, I asked her last night, what's all this white stuff on my counter? Mom, I'm playing with Play-Doh. Okay. Soon as Nevaeh got in my truck today, because when I got home to stock my freezers, I can't use that one until I clean it out and let it refrost, right? So Nevaeh gets in my truck. I said, Nevaeh, where did you tell me you get that Play-Doh again? I said, and don't your ass tell me it came from your friend. I made Play-Doh, but I knew you were going to get mad. Like I told her, it ain't the point of getting mad. It's the point of it is, we don't do that. That's wasting. Don't waste my flour that I cook with and show the hell don't waste my dawn. You want to play with Play-Doh? Buy you some Play-Doh. But you left my freezer door open. So therefore, everything in my freezer has got to go in the trash. So it was already a thin line. You know your children. My kids, if they say, oh, well, you know, this person's mean to me, or, or they be like, oh, dad said this, or, you know, something like that, and we, we get in front of each other, or we put them in there, and they be like, no, daddy didn't say that. You get what I'm saying? So therefore, she didn't stand up for herself. She automatically said we could have used different words. The problem is the way you handle yourself is wrong. I'm sorry. I listen to my kids first. I am their voice. I am going to have their back. And I'm going to make sure that they are treated with kindness and respect. If my kids are giving you kindness and respect, that's the same thing they're asking. My thing is, there's only three of y'all. There's all these students. And guess what? I'm irritated today. So I'm going to handle it the way I want to because ain't nobody going to say nothing because it's only us three back here. Because apparently there was another one standing there and didn't say shit. We going to treat these kids any type of way. And hey, if the mom or dad comes up in here, we know we're going to tell them, no, you're not bullshitting me. Sorry, you're not. Miss Kathleen, even if Nevaeh has an attitude, right? Because Nevaeh has a bad attitude. That's my thing. The teacher's a grown woman. First of all, you don't you don't call a you don't call a kid stupid if you're a teacher. Second of all, if you heard what my daughter said, then why did you turn around to start conflict with a nine year old child? Then when she repeated herself and asked you why did you, well, what's stupid about my brother, you get in her face and you ask her what's she going to do about it. What part did Nevea do wrong? That's my thing. We are grown-ups. So we're supposed to handle ourselves better. We are teachers. So, first of all, we don't call children stupid. Second of all, we're not going to cause a conflict with a child as we are grown-ups. We are going to go ahead and walk off. And if we have a problem with that child, either write her up or let someone else know that you are having a problem. You don't get into a nine-year-old's face and ask her what the hell she going to do about it. Because at the end of the day, what you going to do, fight a nine-year-old child? That's where the grown-up crossed the line, not the child. The child was sticking up for her brother that said, what is stupid about my brother? And the lady said, if you got something to say, say it in my face and not behind my back. Nevaeh said, what is stupid about my brother? So instead of her, I guess, explaining what was stupid about Jane, she going to ask Nevaeh, what are you going to do about it? What part is it okay for you? Or, you know, my thing is, what part? What part am I missing? Even if a child has an attitude, Nevaeh has an attitude all day long. I'm not going to get in her face because I'm 33 years old and ask her, what you going to do about it? What you going to do about it? 
What am I going to do? Fight my nine-year-old child? I'm 33 years old, sweetheart. 34 now. I'm grown. I make grown choices. And at that time, she didn't make the right choice. You don't get into a child's face and ask them what they're going to do. And you and I both know they ain't going to do shit. Nevaeh would have never said nothing if the lady didn't call her brother stupid. There's another way to say, hey, boys. Javier, don't be throwing trash with Justin because what Justin is doing is wrong. Both of y'all sit down, Javier and Justin. We don't throw trash in this cafeteria. Woo! That's what we're going to do. We're not going to say, hey, Javier, you want to be stupid like Justin and throw trash and get in trouble? That's where we got messed up at. You get what I'm saying? Every action has a consequence. I'm not understanding wh where my kids went wrong. I don't know if people understand. If my kids mess up, I'm going to tear that ass up. Okay? I spank my children and I put them in the corner. I don't have no problem telling you my kids are wrong. But where are they wrong at? Miss Amy, I did too. That's why instead of me jumping off the handle, I asked them. I asked the lady first. Her story was totally different. I said, well, let's go get my kids. I got both of my children standing in front of her and the other lady that supervises. The story that the teacher gave, both of my kids are saying, that's a lie. You did not do that. I asked Nevaeh and Justin, so can you tell me the story that you told me? The whole story was the same. So with that being said, it's just not going to happen. So, no, I want to see cameras. I want to see for myself and see how it goes. Plain and simple. And what's bad is nobody told me Thursday. Nobody told me Friday. Nobody, not even the lady that supervises even heard about it. Uh, Miss Lolly, they are, I guess they're like teenagers that uh, do four hours after school. They uh, get, I guess they're like, they're hired for the after school program. They only work in the afternoons at the after school program. So. She said. Well, so what are you going to do? Nothing. I'm going to pick my kids up. They're not going to an after school program. I'm not doing it. I, I explained to them today. I am not sending my kids to the after school program where apparently we as mothers and dads don't get to know what's going on. And second of all, I'm not sending my kids. In a, I can't figure out who's lying. So with that being said, I believe my children. And until I can see proof, I'm going to stand next to my children. So, no, I'm not going to leave them in the care with you. Can't happen. So, I'm going to start cleaning up this deep freezer, figuring out dinner, and hopefully we have a better Tuesday. So, that's how I went today. Miss Michelle, they wouldn't let me see them. They said that they can get the officer to bring up the cameras or the footage. It's going to take a little while. And then they will reach out to me and let me know when the footage is ready to view. So. She said, Nene should have not been in to start with. Your kids are disrespectful and I'm sure she was talking when she wasn't supposed to. Also, I can't listen Oh, Miss Kate, let me do your favor. So that way, me and you both ain't got to be here, sweetheart. Goodbye. I don't... Look, listen to me. Let me put this clear to you. I don't care if my kids are bad as hell. I do not care how you feel about my children. If you decide as a grown-up to call a child stupid, 
and her, his sister decides to tell you what is stupid about him, then she has that right too, regardless. So if that makes Nevaeh wrong for sticking up for her brother, that's your problem. <coughs> I do not care if my kids are bad as hell. Gives no grown-up rights to do that to my children. Like I said, at the end of the day, you can be whatever type of mom you want to believe. Oh, I'm going to believe this person because, hey, they're older than you should believe your damn kids. That's what's wrong with this society. We don't trust our kids enough and our kids get mistreated. They get done bad. And it's because the parents are too damn soft to stick up for them. Well, not me. I'm not going to allow nobody to do my kids any type of way. If she thought Nevaeh was being disrespectful, just like I explained to the uh, lady supervising, Nevaeh can't do shit at nine years old. But you can ask me what I'm going to do about it. And like I told her, Nevaeh is a kid. You ain't going to put your hands on my child. But you're more than welcome to ask me what the fuck I'm going to do about it. That's what it should be. We need to stand up for our children. Our children don't have a voice. And if you're not going to stand up for your child, who is? The problem is you can't leave your kids anywhere. It seems like everybody out here, it's just, I don't know. You're just a troublemaker. I don't give a damn. Why? Because I stick up for my kids? Okay. The, the little girl's lucky that I didn't get out of my car because I pulled up first. And then I seen her in her car. She's lucky that I had some common sense today and was polite. And asked her what happened Thursday. That's what she's lucky for. But anyways. I just thought I'll let y'all know what it went after school. And I will see y'all in a little bit. Because I got better shit to do than argue with some fools. Love y'all.